Okay, you've done uh, Putri Gunung Ledang, the musical, and uh, now there's obviously the concert. Then there was uh, Hikayat Maro Mahawangsa, mm -hmm. which you took on the lead role. Uh, and then I think it was K Kitchen Musical, was it Kitchen yeah. Musical it was called? It was a production done in Singapore. Uh, mm -hmm. It ran for, uh, we saw it, I think for 12, 12 or 15 episodes, I can't quite remember. One season, yeah. One season. And then um, we saw that uh, Kitchen Musical, almost uh, a version of Glee, if, mm. if, if, if not. Um, you've done, you know, uh, Love, 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 lawn uh, characters. Uh, Hikayat Marong, you were the hero. Kitchen musical was almost comedic, mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you define yourself if it's not by your work as an actor? Um, well, you do define yourself a lot by your work, I think. Um, I mean, obviously, there's you know the Stephen Ron Hughes away from the stage and away from the cameras mm -hmm. and away from the recording studio. Um, you know, and you, you, you identify yourself with obviously your relationships around you and the things that you like to do. But you know, a huge part of your, my journey and the reason why I act is because it is a, a always a journey of self-discovery, even if it's through a character's eyes. You know, so yeah, in 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 in, in that sense, you, you do define yourself. You know, you find certain things that resonate and things that uh, that you know. That you sort of that give you perspective on life. So what role that you've played so far resonates with you the most as a person? The most? Oh wow! I mean, it's it's kind of strange because uh, there's always something about a role that you say this is really a part of me. Um, I mean, I just played a role. Um, his name is Lonnie um, in Rock of Ages, and if you saw me play that role. You'd be, you wouldn't believe that that, that was me, um, just because of the way I looked and the way I acted on stage. I mean, he was so childish and really inappropriate, really inappropriate <laughs> all the time. He has no uh, no control over his impulses. But um, for me, it was it was such a joy to play it. It was a release. Do you know what I mean? To be mm. on stage and just have the permission to just. Let get it, let let go, and 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 and, and it'd be okay. Mm. And so yeah, I mean, there's 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 something like that. That actually, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed doing that. I wouldn't say that it's the, the thing that resonates with me the most, but there's definitely a childish part of me that I was like very happy to to sort of connect with. Um, but yeah, in terms of in terms of my roles, I think this it, it changes. It changes. I think I I change as a personality. My you know my tastes change as I evolve. As a human being, and so even even my roles mean different things to me at, at any given time. Yeah, okay, I mean so I might say, oh yeah. I mean I might say to yeah, and Dua has, has been my favourite role, and then we would like you to yeah, say that. But <laughs> I mean, I mean to be honest, it actually has been one of my, you know, just your favourite. Yeah. One of my favourites because the challenge was so. I mean, it was so ambitious to mm. to come back to Malaysia, put myself, you know, on a stage in front of, you know, a Malaysian audience, and then. And, and try and speak their language and make it believable. And I thought, you know, in, in, back in the day, I thought if I can do that, you can do anything. If, I, if, if, if I'm fearless enough to do that, then that's a great plus point for me. It's a, it's a great thing to take away into life. <laughs>